Thank you for inviting me here. As I look across the room, the thing that strikes me is that my story is your story. Your story is my story. I came to this country as a young seven-year-old. I couldn't speak the language. I didn't understand the culture. And I had no idea where I had come. My father, who had come five years before me, came here with nothing, nothing. And all he wanted, all his life. It reminded me of my father when our uncle, I mean Anka, <laughs> <laughs> when he said, look to your families and thank them because without support we are nothing my father didn't have any support my mother <coughs> didn't have any support they had no education they worked all their lives they worked their three children and I am the youngest. And the only thing my father ever said to me was get an education. An education that will live with you forever. Which I will take everywhere. No one can take that away from you. That education will open doors. That education will feed your families, your future generations. That education will give you the respect and dignity. That education will ensure you can hold your head up high. And I think at this juncture, you've got to put your hands together for Montrose College, who have given you that education. As a son of an immigrant, <coughs> as I said, my parents came here, my father came here, came here in 1965. He was not born in India, even though I was. He was born in what's now known as Pakistan. So he uprooted himself in 1947 to cross the border. He uprooted himself in 1965 to come here in search of a better life. And that better life has led me, a seven-year-old boy who came to England with nothing, to get an education, to go to university, to end up, my father couldn't understand what university was. And when I graduated from the London School of Economics, I remember coming home saying, I've just graduated from the London School of Economics and my father, and I remember, and those of you who are from the Asian subcontinent will know when I say he was having roti with masrani dal. I remember it so clearly. He looked up and he said, okay. <laughs> it meant nothing to him. And I had to tell him, I've just graduated from the same university as John F. Kennedy. And he looked at me and then he said, that's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I knew I, you know, I had my father's respect. But it's like the old analogy, if you give somebody a fish, if you give somebody some food, you will feed them for a day. If you teach somebody, if you educate somebody, you feed them for life. And that is what Montreal College has given you. An education so you can feed not only yourself, but your future generations for life. This education has given you something which you didn't have before. Your CV will be richer for it. And as you gain experience, you will be better for it.
But this was the starting point. Without this, the next part of your journey couldn't begin. And as I stand here, I didn't just graduate from the LSC. I then worked, worked for security services. I then went into educating my children. I have four children, four children. And between them, they have eight degrees between them at the moment. And I'm hoping at the end of this this uh, calendar year, not calendar year, this uh, term time year, school year, that there will be nine. It is the only thing my father taught me, my mother taught me, was education. And that is what I'm teaching my children. The only thing you carry with yourself is education. And I think Bilal Sheikh, who you all know, has been into the council when I was council leader, has invited me now as an MP. I know he has huge plans for Montrose College. I know he has huge vision for Montrose College. And I know he has huge vision for every single student that comes through the doors of Montrose College. Can you give a hand for Bilal Sheikh? So ladies and gentlemen, what we're seeing here today is the talent we have at our disposal. People who have come on the journey, who have passed the first juncture, who have passed the first test, and now they're about to embark on the next stage of their lives. And all of you here, the graduates, you are going to go forward because you didn't give up, because you refused to give up. You dreamed big. You dreamed big so you can actually get on the next rung of the ladder. And if there's one piece of advice that I want to give you, you're, please keep your family and friends close. They are the rock behind you. You are only who you are because of the people sitting on the sides. Those people have made sacrifices for you to succeed and I think it's time you paid that back because everything I have achieved is not something I achieved it was on the backs of my hard work of my mother and father it was on the hard work of my brother and sister it was on the hard work of my friends and family everything I have today is because of the people around me the network that carried me through and I know when times are tough, and I'll end on this one, you will all have seen a story, a picture, an infographic named Footprints. When a human being is looking back on his life, his or her life, and he or she realized that every time they encountered difficulty, there was only one set of footprints, and yet they thought God was walking with them all the time. And they challenged God. What happened? In my time of need, you was never there. And the saying goes, it was at that time God replied, it was at that moment I carried you through your troubled times. And that's what family does, that's what belief, faith does, 